Hey, Seth Miranda here, out and about with the new Fujifilm X-T30. This lifestyle camera, this little guy, has been fitting in my pocket pretty much all day. Super intuitive to use, very versatile, including this little awesome pop-up flash that's very stylishly hidden. The real evolution of this camera from the X-T20 is the processor. We're talking about a quad-core, fourth-generation processor, allowing for separation of information like the auto-exposure, the autofocus, and allows for better autofocus, like better eye detection, better face detection from farther away subjects, moving subjects. I even found it to be pretty accurate for eye detection on a profile of someone's face. Another great out and about type feature of this camera is that it's USB-C chargeable while it's even operational. So you don't have to carry around a charger, you just carry around the plug, USB-C cable, and you're good to go while you're traveling out there. On top of that, we got our little flip screen here. The way I was shooting was basically low to the ground, flipping the screen up, really giving me like all these options and angles without me having to like lay on the actual floor. This little guy's come packed with a 26.1 backside illuminated APS-C sensor, which on that sensor you get all the Fuji colors. You can do film simulations from Velvia, Aquas with black and white shooter, and even a Turnip. It's got great video functions, 4K 30 frames, slow-mo 120 frames at 1080 HD. Walking around today, I put on the new 16mm 2.8 from Fujifilm. It was a very small, compact, very lightweight, totally silent, super fast autofocusing, very sharp lens. I was really impressed with it. You could see that I was cranking down to F22 to get those star bursts on those buildings. The burst mode on this is super fun, being eight frames a second mechanical, but goes up to 30 frames per second on electronic crop. I got within inches of subjects, making macros super easy right there on the fly, giving me that abstract look, or if there's just something I want to get detail-wise, I'm right there not worrying about it. Overall, this was a jump in evolution from the XT line, so if you're in that market, this is pretty much the one to go for for you. This camera pretty much gives you everything you need in a little tiny package and just a little bit more in case you want to grow with it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, share this video around, and hit us down in the comments if you have any questions about the XT30 and the 60mm 2.8.